Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. When the entity lease of the Bureau of Industry and Security of the U.S. Department of Commerce added the 37 batch of Chinese companies, they may not have expected that this carefully woven, technical blockade network was being torn open by Chinese engineers using three-dimensional packaging technology. Recently, many Chinese semiconductor companies announced that they have achieved equivalent 5 nanometer or even 3 nanometer chip performance through the 14 nanometer process superimposed on the 3D packaging process. This Lego revolution in the chip industry, called by foreign media, is subverting the rules of the game in the global semiconductor industry. Traditional chip manufacturing is like carving Mona Lisa on a two-dimensional plane. The smaller the process number means the more precise the process. When TSMC and Samsung carve tens of billions of transistors on a one square centimeter silicon wafer, Chinese engineers turn their attention to three-dimensional space through silicon via TSV technology to vertically stack more than 10 layers of 14 nanometer chips, shortening the signal transmission distance from marathon to 100 meter sprint and reducing power consumption by 35% while performance leaps. This innovation is by no means a simple stacking. Just like building the Eiffel Tower with Lego bricks, it is necessary to overcome the problem of thermodynamic distribution and solve the compatibility problem of chips of different materials. SMIX data is the most convincing. Its 14 nanometers thin FET technology yield exceeds 95%, and after 3D packaging, its computing speed is equal to that of 5 nanometers chips that require EUV lithography machines to manufacture, while the cost is only 40% of the latter. This directly shook the foundation of the pricing power of Western giants. It takes $20 billion to build a 5 nanometers production line, while the Chinese solution only needs one tenth of the investment to achieve equivalent performance. Behind this technological revolution is the collaborative breakthrough of China's semiconductor industry chain. Shanghai Microelectronics 28 nanometers lithography machine entered the production line verification. Mix 5 nanometers etching machine entered the international supply chain, and Huawei's EDA software achieved full process tool chain autonomy. What is more worthy of attention is the mass production of Yangtze Memories 232 layer 3D flash memory and the yield of Hafei Chongxin's drum chips soared from 60% to 90% in three months. These data made Korean engineers collectively insomniac. The in-depth layout of the industrial chain has formed a de-westernization ecology, $140 billion of investment in the field of silicon carbide materials has laid a solid foundation, and the electronic control chips for new energy vehicles are about to be fully localized. Even Tesla has urgently visited China to discuss cooperation. This systematic breakthrough confirms the judgment of Li Shushen, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. When Moss Law approaches the physical limit, system engineering innovation is opening up a new dimension. History always repeats similar scripts. When the United States cut off the supply of chips below 14 nanometers in 2019, it may not have expected the effect of this hard booster, or film, which was kicked out of the Apple chain, turn around and achieve positive net profit in Huawei's orders, and GoTech took advantage of the opportunity to top the global market for XR equipment. Just as the withdrawal of Soviet experts 60 years ago gave birth to the 596 project, today's entity list has accelerated the process of domestic substitution. In 2025, Chinese chip papers accounted for 47.5%, and Intel engineers began to study Chinese technical literature. 
This gene of breaking through adversity has been tried and tested when BOE broke the LCD monopoly and surpassed Siemens in high-speed rail technology. SMIC's current plan to build four 12-inch wafer fabs is in line with Tesla's Shanghai factory's efficiency of starting construction and putting into production in the same year, and together, they interpret the unique competitiveness of China's manufacturing. While toasting to celebrate, we still need to be aware of the challenges. The skyscraper of 3D packaging faces the problem of heat dissipation, the difference in thermal gradients generated by the stacking of 30 layers of chips may make the top layer fried eggs and the bottom layer frozen popsicles. Huawei's P70 series uses graphene heat dissipation film to increase thermal conductivity tenfold, and SMIC's quantum detector achieves precise laser removal of defective chips. Although these innovations temporarily solve the urgent problem, the shortcomings in the field of basic materials still require long-term investment. What we need to be more vigilant about are geopolitical risks. Japan and the Netherlands suddenly changed their attitudes after China broke through the 14 nanometer mass production. Although ASML delivered EUV lithography machines, it delayed technical maintenance. This game of political cold and economic hot may continue. As the People's Daily said, giving up fantasy is not about building cars behind closed doors but about building a solid foundation in openness. While Silicon Valley analysts are still struggling with process numbers, Chinese engineers have rewritten the definition of performance with three-dimensional innovation. From Beidou, networking to quantum computing, from space stations to control nuclear fusion, China's technology tree always grows unexpected branches in blockades. The significance of this cheap revolution is no less than the historical leap from the introduction of high-speed rail technology to the leading position. It proves that true innovation never catches up on the track set by others, but opens up new battlefields to reconstruct the rules of the game. Looking back from the time and space coordinates of 2025, the technological breakthrough of 14 nanometers plus 3D packaging is not only a heavy punch to the stark neck list, but also a declaration of the reconstruction of the global semiconductor order. This road is destined to be bumpy, but just as the eastward flow of the river is irreversible, the historical process of China's chips moving towards high-end cannot be stopped by any force.